Google Website Builder Tutorial Google Sites. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at Google Sites and how to build your own website using the simple and free platform Google Sites. So let's get into it. Now, to get started, all you have to do is head on over to sites.google.com or you can just search on your browser for Google Sites, click on the first link over here and you will be led to Google Sites. Now, make sure you are aware of the fact that whatever Google account you have logged in over here on the top right of your screen with your browser, that would be the account that your website is going to be linked with. So whatever email address that you want to link with your website, just log into that email address on your browser or switch to that email address when you open up Google Sites to get started. Now, the best part about using Google Sites is that everyone knows how to use Google. It's simple and easy. And if you just want a simple and efficient, a clean website for your business, for your portfolio, or even to run maybe a small scale business, then it is going to be very easy to manage it all with Google Sites. You won't have to worry about domain names. You won't have to worry about hosting and you don't have to worry about website security and other things of that sort. However, Google Sites is not one of the most popular or one of the most powerful website builders. So there are certain features that you will not be able to access via Google site. So let's just get into it and start building our website and I will show you guys exactly how to get started now. Once you guys head on over to sites.google, you will see on your top, you have a bunch of different templates. You can click on template gallery and this will expand and show you some of the templates that are available. There are a handful of templates that you can get started with on Google sites, or you can go on ahead and click on blank over here to get started with a empty slate with a empty canvas, and then you can customize it however you like. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to continue with a simple template. So you can see they have educational template, business template, work templates, and personal templates. So we're going to go on ahead and build a portfolio website. So we're just going to click on photo portfolio. I think this is an interesting template and we're just going to open this up and begin customizing it. So once you click on the template, the template will be opened up in this preview or this website editor and you can begin your customization. On the right side of your screen, you're going to have all of your features such as your insertion. So you can add text blocks, images, embed code. So you can embed your Calendly code or any other kind of code to your website. And then you have your drive access feature. Then you can also add content blocks. So how you want to arrange your content with a image and text. And then you have multiple different options like collapsible grips, table of contents, uh, image carousel. So those moving images you see, buttons, dividers, placeholders, YouTube, uh, your YouTube link, so you can add a YouTube video to your website, docs, slides, sheets, and so much more. Then you have your pages section, so this will display all of the pages present within your website. So this is just a simple website that has a work page, and within the work page, you have your project page and the about page. Then you also have your themes, so you can apply a specific theme, and this will be applied to your entire website to give a, a cohesive look to, the, to all of the text and all of the items present within the website. So we're going to get started. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the logo and then you can add a logo. So you can add your logo image. If you don't have one, we're just going to enter a name. And now once you have entered your website name, what you can do is you can customize your pages. So I am actually going to go on ahead and take the work page and I'm going to delete the project page from here. And the work page is going to be customized. So I'm just going to click on properties. I'm going to rename this to the home page. And then after the home page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this plus icon at the bottom right of my screen. And I'm going to click on new page and the new page that I'm going to create is going to be work. So I'm going to create a new page called work portfolio. And within this work portfolio, I'm going to make sub pages. So uh, so what you can do to make sub pages is that you can go on ahead, click on your plus icon, and then you will have a new page option. So you're just going to enter, create multiple different new pages that you want to create as sub pages. So digital art. So what you're going to do to actually make this a sub page is that you're just going to select the item that you want to make a sub page and drag and drop it on top of the, on top of the actual main page that you want it to be present with. And then now you can see this is like a sub page. So people can hover their mouse over work portfolio, and then they will have a sub page of digital art, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to create another sub page. 
and then I'm just going to drag and drop it like so. And you can even create sub pages from the sub page and that can give you a lot more control over the categorization of your website. Now, uh, you can go on ahead and click on delete to remove any of the blocks that you don't want. So this is our home page. And let's say I want to add a different kind of block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on insert and then I'm going to add maybe in the content blocks. I'm going to add this kind of content block. So I want an image and text on the side. And to upload the image, I will just click on the plus icon. And then you can just add whatever image or uh, you can select it from your drive. You can upload it like so. Or you can just click on select image and browse for some of the free images from the Google image search. So you can find royalty free images. So we're just going to take one of the Google images and then you can enter some text. So however you want to present your website so on and so forth you're just going to enter a text this is just some sample text that i added now below that in the about section you can add some more sample work you can add a button for shop now buttons you can add buttons and then you can go on ahead and add and you can also add uh, if you're going to make sample of works now i would actually add that into the work portfolio so i'm going to open the work portfolio section and i'm going to enter just two sections over here and that one would be named and then I would just upload a sample image and then I would just link this. So I would do click on insert link and this would link to the digital art one. And then I would click on insert link and this would link to canvas work. And this is just going to make my website seem a lot more seamless. And then within the digital art section, I would scroll down and you can add image carousels. So you can just click on select images and upload your images for your portfolio. And once you have finished designing your website, you're just going to go and click on publish on the top of your screen. So on the top right, you have your publish button and you're going to enter your web address. You can make a custom domain. Uh, so link a custom domain if you already have purchased your domain, or you can just go on ahead and use sites.google.com slash Jane's art. And then we're just going to click on publish. And now you can see our website has been published and our website is live and I can go on ahead and browse it. Obviously, this is just a sample website. You're going to add a lot more details on your original one. And if you go ahead back to your basic menu, you can see I have multiple different websites on one singular account. So you can make as many websites as you want. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these and techniques that I showed in this video and if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video